time for math. Let's do the doubles pokey. Oh, you've never heard of that? <laughs> Let's learn it together. Ready? Get your fingers out. You put one finger in and one finger more. You shake them all together and then lie them on the floor. You add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have two in all. You put two fingers in and two fingers more. You shake them all together and then lie them on the floor. You add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have four in all. You put three fingers in and three fingers more. You shake them all together and then lie them on the floor. You put, add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have six in all. Very good. You put four fingers in and four fingers more. You shake them all together and then lie them on the floor. You add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have eight in all. One more. You put five fingers in and five fingers more. You shake them all together and then lie them on the floor. You add them both together and you don't want to stall. Now you have 10 in all. Nice job. Well, I'm going to try this with you too. I hope they don't fall apart. Let's see what happens. Ready? Here we go. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Beautiful. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Are you noticing I made it look just like the cards? Fabulous. You say it. <laughs> 3 plus 3 equals 6. Looks just like the dice and the cards we've been playing. You know what's coming. Four. Oh, I know it's four because how many are up there? Two plus two. Very good. Uh oh, hold on. They don't stay together. Excuse me. <coughs> four plus four equals eight. Nice job. And can you predict what number I'm working with next? They look like flowers. How many are here? Five plus five equals ten. So let's see. We had two, four, six, eight, and ten. How come I didn't have seven? Or three? Or five? Those numbers are odd. You only have doubles with what kind of numbers? Even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Even numbers, all of them. My goodness, even when we get out Try and Lion and Leapfrog, how many is that? And then over here, I've got Eagle Eye and Lips the Fish. Are they a double? Two plus two equals four. It works everywhere. You can see it all over the place. My eyes are like doubles. One plus one equals two. Great job. Well, boys and girls, I want you to get out a white sheet of paper. Mine has some things written on it, but we'll get there. Ready? Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And probably one more time. All right? I'm going to hang it up here and show you what I've done. I did a little bit ahead of time because... We don't always have enough time to do it when I do my writing. So, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I just remembered something. 
something I forgot from the first video. Uh, he knew I was missing somebody. I'll get right back to it in a minute. So what I want you to do on your paper is I want you, of course, to do your best job at putting your name using your best writing in a box. Some of you have been practicing doing your first and last names. I'm so proud. Now look, I am writing my doubles equations. So I did one, one. How would that work? One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. That's what I want you to do, is to write all the doubles that you can. Now, there's going to be some tricky, tricky kids out there who keep going. They might write 6 plus 6 and 7 plus 7 and 8 plus 8 and figure it all out. Yay for you! But at least do 1 through 5. That would be great. Now, boys and girls, when I was getting ready to do something here, I want to show you what I saw hidden behind my little easel. How in the world did I forget Chunky Monkey? Oh my goodness, were you all yelling to me, Miss Red, where is Chunky Monkey? Of course he could be your favorite. So from part one, we were talking about all the guys. I kept thinking I was missing somebody. It's so hard because at school, you guys are right there in front of me and you let me know when I forget something. I'm so sorry, Chunky Monkey. He actually is one that helps me a lot because when Chunky Monkey, he reminds us that when we see a word that is really, really long, hmm, let's see, like maybe the word butterfly. But it's such a long word, Chunky Monkey says, look for the chunks. Well, look at that. We know that first part, B-U-T, because it's a sight word. But, 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 then we look at the next chunk. Er, E-R is always er. So if we did it together, even if we didn't know the end, but, er, butterfly. Chunky Monkey helps us look for chunks that we already know. Perfect job for you, boys and girls. Okay, so I'm sorry I forgot about Chunky Monkey. Of course, if he's the one you want to write about, you definitely can. And that would be really super too. Oh my goodness. So today, your jobs are to pick a character that helps you with your reading or one that you think is really interesting. You can pick anyone you want. You can make a whole book if you want about all five of our friends here. There is one more, and maybe we'll, we'll maybe I'll look when the store's open and see if I can find him. I haven't been able to find him yet, but we've got a lot of them. And now, how many do I have? I had four, and then I had one more. Five. So is five even or odd? Five would be odd, because I can only put how many here? Two plus three equals five. So you're going to write a, one paper about your favorite um, helper for reading and writing. And then you're going to work on writing your doubles. Writing your doubles. At least the doubles, one, two, three, four, and five. And then if you are so super smart and you have some time and you want to keep going, that would be great. Um, I hope you notice that even though I made a big, big mistake today, I let you see it. I could go back. I could delete the whole first video and I could do it perfectly. But you know what? Things don't have to be perfect. We all make mistakes. I knew something wasn't right. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> and then there was Chunky Monkey hiding out behind the easel. So. You know, it's like when you um, have a paper and you're doing the first round of it. Instead of erasing, erasing, and erasing, erasing, just, you know, don't worry about the little mistakes. Keep going. Because when you're writing for me, getting your thoughts down are what's most important. 
And when I'm teaching you, I want to show you how to learn things, don't I? And you know what I learned today? I learned I better look behind my easel so that I can see what's missing there. You guys have been awesome again. Hey, say, ask mom and dad if you can go on Zern. Tell them what you think of it, because I'm really wondering. Something new we haven't done. I wouldn't do this if we were still in the classroom. You know, Miss Red, I like to talk to you, and I like to teach you, and I like you to use all kinds of things. Computers aren't big for us. But now that you're home, I thought maybe this would work, but I need to know what you think. All right, you ready? All right, all of our friends are here. See ya. <clears throat> Let's try again. <clears throat> Excuse me. See ya later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Gotta go, buffalo. Adios, hippos. Chow, chow, brown cow. See you soon, baboon. Adu, cockatoo. Better swish, jellyfish. Chop, chop, lollipop. Gotta run, skeleton. Bye, bye, butterfly. Better shake, rattlesnake. Goodbye, my good friends. See you tomorrow.